Hi, Glenn Alba here, Associate Broker of Villa Home and leader of the Alba team. In today's show, we're introducing another member of our team, Andrea Kelsky. We hope that you get to know Andrea a little bit today and uh, that you use her for some of your real estate services in the future. Andrea, welcome. Thank you, Glenn. Good Thank to have you here you. today. Thank you. Uh, we want to know a little bit about maybe uh, where you grew up, uh, what you've always been in New York. Always been in New York, Long Island, Massapequa. Uh, Massapequa? Massapequa, um, up until just as of recently. Well, I actually lived in Queens a little bit, but now back on the island. So. Now, what about your family? Was your family all uh, from New York as all well? All from New York, Brooklyn. Brooklyn to We're part of Brooklyn. Coney Island. Oh, okay. Coney Island. Oh. Uh, Mom and Grandma, and um, Dad was actually from the island, so everybody is local. How many uh, brothers and sisters do you have? I or have four brothers and one sister. Oh. Yes, a big family. Oh, uh, where are you in the... In the I am uh, the youngest. You're the youngest? I am the baby. So you have a whole bunch of fathers, I assume, right? Yes. Everybody looking oh, out for you? Yes, yes. <laughs> but you know, it's great. Having that support and that big family is, it's great. That's great. What, um, now, you, when you, did you go to school in Massapequa as well? I went to St. John's right here from West Islip. Oh, is that right? That's correct. Oh, okay. Yep. I went to elementary school in Amityville and high school in West Islip. Yep. And in some college at um, Nassau Community. I actually did a few different things. I did um, Sanford Brown, which was an institute. Um, I did, went for pharmacy, you know, pharmacy tech first. So I did that, completed that, got my certification, but that didn't pan out. And then I went to HR for... Um, Orlando Cohen. Oh wow! So you, the medical, your medical interests. Uh, it it yeah it diverted a little bit. It was more I was very good with the medications and that's kind of what pushed me to pharmacy because I was dealing a lot with the patients before I got into HR dealing with patients and their medicines. So that kind of pushed me in the direction of pharmacy, but it was not how it was made to seem when you first start out. And it just after a while I actually got a promotion in my company, so I was taken away from dealing with medications and I was dealing with HR. So it kind of just steered me away from wow. pharmacy. So I went with HR, and that worked out for a good few years. So the, years. Uh, now, as far as, now, your personal life, do you, yes. are you, uh, do you have a family of your own? I or? am, I am engaged, and we have three boys. Uh, three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. Three, two, and Whoa. one. Whoa. Yes, so <laughs> back to back. Well, um, how'd you find time to, uh, to do all that you do? Multitasking. I have yeah. to say, I, you know what, if I'm not doing a bunch of things at once, if I'm not constantly busy, I think I probably feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh my. So yeah. the kids definitely keep me busy. Um, and then, you know, when I was in HR doing the regular nine to five in corporate, it was just not, it was not able, it's not doable with three kids, especially with um, my oldest being disabled. Oh, oh so, is that right? Yes. Oh, okay. So he is um, very dependent. He's completely dependent on uh, for all his needs. So now he's had, your oldest. Yes, my first. Okay. He was premature. Um, so thankfully, I mean, he's overcome a lot of hurdles, a lot of obstacles, um, and we just take everything day by day. And I had to be there for him and for my other sons as well, but um, mainly to be able to provide his care and to be able to work and do things. And still be able to provide for them. Yeah, and be able uh, to take care of them. Wow. It's it's a lot, but you know what I said. To me, real estate really was the. It seemed to be like the best option. Now you, how long have you been in the real estate business now? Very or? fresh, within uh, six months. Okay, and you were with another another real estate company. I was. was there a reason that you wanted to join the Alba team and and, I, and Villa? I needed more support. I needed a more personal connection to the people that I was working with. Um, the other company I was at, they were great, but they were very large, and I see, it seemed to be more suitable for people who were already established in real estate. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't really get my foot in the ground with them. You know, I got a lot of tips and a lot of you know advice, but nothing where anybody was really helping to help me build my business. Right. So to come where somebody has a team and they're willing to help you build your all and you're going to give back to them is what seems to be what it would come Well, that's, that. that's, that's, that's really what it's about. Yeah. And it's about give and take. And having you on board with our team is, I mean, we are so grateful, uh, you know, that you can raise your family, you can do your real estate business, and you know, you can do it right out of your home. That is, and that's the great thing. We have absolutely. so many tools that uh, that that are available, 
uh, even for the consumer. I mean, you can, you can get them all of their information that they need, and you can do it right from there. You don't have to go into an office. Um, so, you know, that, this is one of, the, one of the great things that we have, and that uh, you coming on board with it uh, is, is really special. I'm, I'm very grateful for this opportunity yeah. because it seems like it came at the right time. Everything seems to have been falling into place, and this was just seems to be like the next step. And it was like, it's a perfect timing, and it was an opportunity that I said, I have, to, I have to go for it. Now, you just recently moved, isn't that correct? Yes. You, so where you, where you reside, in your, what area? In Elmont now, from okay. Massapequa. Um, so we'll be there for a little bit, and then hopefully, you know, delve into the real estate over there and see what's, uh, you know, what's yeah. going on in that area. Yeah, so we're going to have... an area I'm unfamiliar with, so it'll be good, yeah. too. And the Massapequa area, where was it? Massapequa Park? Massapequa. Uh, East Massapequa. But, I mean, I'm very familiar with Massapequa. I have a lot of friends all over Massapequa. So. Well, that's terrific. Yeah. Well, the, uh, I want to just ask you a quick question. Sure. How are you as a cook? Do I, you take care of the house? Or does your husband do say, the cooking? You do the uh, cooking? I am the only female in a house of, you know, four males. So I do all the cooking <laughs> and everybody's satisfied. And uh, what kind say. of food is your specialty? Uh, you know what? I, I would have to say Italian, but I've been branching out. I've been doing a lot more Spanish food. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love Spanish food. Yeah. I love Caribbean food. So I've been really branching out trying to do, you know, different dishes. Are you, you, in, you like the spicy? Uh, oh, I love spicy. The spicy meatball? Yes. Spicy, <laughs> yes. The hotter, the better. Really? Yes, absolutely. It's all about the flavor, all yeah. about the spices, because if you don't have that, then it's just boring. Well, one day, we hopefully, we can get a little dish brought over. I have over to bring and, something in. I guess yeah. I have to make something and bring it in for you guys. Absolutely. Well, we want to thank you for coming today. And we hope that everyone uh, will give Andrea a call. Uh, call the Alba team for any of your needs, whether it's to buy a home, to sell a home. Uh, you have our numbers, and we look forward to working with you soon. Thanks again.